now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we may have a more difficult time reaching 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. By no means is Friday cool and comfortable. In fact, we'll be well into the 80s and the humidity isn't going anywhere. It'll still remain rather high and it certainly feels like a summer night. Some areas are still in the lower 80s just to our north. Most locations now mid to upper 70s. It is quiet in Providence and looking good in uh, Newport as well right now. There are some scattered showers and thunderstorms north of Providence as one little area. Uh, near Gillette Stadium and uh, just south of the Mass Pike. Most of that should stay away, but the northern part of the state next hour or two could see a passing shower. Look at the high temps today reaching the low and even middle 90s. 93 in Providence. That's the third consecutive day of 90 or higher. So yes, inland areas, it was a, an official heat wave and still quite warm and muggy for tomorrow as well. Providence is still at 81. That includes Taunton around 80, northern part of the state along the south shore between about 70 and 75 degrees with the humidity levels remaining high. So our threat tracker is low for the, the remainder of the evening and overnight. We're going to bump it up to a weather alert. Uh, for Friday afternoon, kind of a heads up here. Now, tomorrow morning starting off quiet. We're very warm and muggy temperature at least 87 degrees. The timing of showers and thunderstorms based on the new data that I've been looking at appears to be mid to late afternoon and early tomorrow evening. Some could be strong with some downpours, some gusty wind and some frequent lighting lightning. So starting off quiet and then getting busy towards the uh, the end of the day. In the meantime, the watches and warnings uh, have discontinued as far as a severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect for central and, and northern New England. So that has expired. But you see a line of storms along the Mass Pike that has weakened. One or two of these rumbles of thunder, or a few showers could clip uh, far northern Rhode Island the next hour or two. But at this point, I think it's more the exception rather than the rule. This is a front and what will happen is it'll drop down to the south arriving here tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening out ahead of it. We'll get scattered showers and thunderstorms the second half of Friday. Here's a wider view. And what's interesting is that this front draped across northern Maine rather than approaching from the north and northwest, it will approach from the northeast. And when that happens, we call them backdoor cold fronts and then it'll be passing through and, and, and producing some of these showers and thunderstorms out ahead of the front. Look at these high temps today up and down the northeast corridor well into the 90s and another very warm day coming up for tomorrow. Just not hitting 90. All this dark green indicates high dew points, elevated levels of humidity that will stick around for one more day and it'll help to fuel some of the downpours. So we're going to start things off at 7 in the morning. No rain or thunder. It's already 77 degrees. As we move ahead to noontime, it's well into the 80s. Still no showers of thunder yet, but notice by mid to late afternoon and towards late day starting to fire up the blips of yellow and orange and red increasing late afternoon. This is early evening at around 7 o'clock. Some downpours and some lightning through about 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. So for tomorrow morning, it's a mix of clouds and sun, warm and humid by 11 a.m. It's at 85 and then during the afternoon and specifically mid to late afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms, some with downpours, some may be strong. I think any thunder at the beaches tomorrow would wait until very late afternoon, otherwise partly sunny. Boaters, be mindful of some of these stronger storms that will pop up later in the afternoon. All right, seven-day forecast, still the risk of a shower or a thunderstorm passing through on Saturday afternoon around 80. I think a better part of Sunday, a better part of Sunday is dry or partly sunny, just the, the outside chance of a late-day shower. Just got to be ready for it. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next in sports, excitement.